waffle in, waffle lies, talking real life shit in, waffle house bullying, what's that about, we nerds out here figuring shit out. Bum, 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 Bitch. Bitch. You good now? Yeah. You fix your shit? She was fucking it up. Kiki. I said, I said, go ahead and make the sandwich. I'm fixing it. Wow. Boom. Wild. Yeah. Uh, there you go. There you go. Anyone else? Three, two, loud. Let's let's go. And the dickhead. Let's go last. Right. Last. Three, two, week. one. Yeah. Cool. Bam. Well, hello everybody. Welcome, Welcome to, to another day. episode of Waffle Now. And Club Random. Club Random. And just helps like say that so that way and just cut it in instead of it's like it's so stupid it's so stupid uh all right so real quick well, that's in case I should do like a... welcome to club random it all works out what's funny is, is like i take stuff in the end in the beginning and take like double it up and it's so so stupid dude. you're copping the screw it yeah and I, I also like i put you know we have we have songs that are not copyrighted that i play underneath mm-hmm. I, lo- I also like today i thought about like I do these at like regular speed. Like, what if I like slow it up? Like, what if I do like some chopping yeah. spirit chop type shit? Yeah, chopping and screw. Because it's just the same songs over and over again. Then what do you what do you remember about the American fucking gladiators, dude? They're all like these big ass buff, like bodybuilders. Dude, I remember that and, I used like, to. It has like cool ass names like Nitro, and well, Turbo. And... I I just watched the documentary, so I can name some like Laser, Nitro, Ice, Fire, Blade. All, all this dumb shit. Glory. Uh, no, there wasn't a glory one. No, there, no, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. I promise you. I just watched the documentary. But anyway, there, there might have been. I, I could be stupid. But anyway, what I'm saying is, dude, like they do this whole fucking documentary on Netflix. What's up, Mary Elizabeth? What's up, John? And I'm sitting there like I'm all in Because I remember like Saturday night, I watched Saturday Night Live and then switched over like Channel 21 or some shit, watched American Gladiators. And then, I like, one o'clock, go, go, I, I don't remember exactly what happened. I think it came on exactly after starting that, like, yeah, it was, as soon as Saturday Night Live went off, you switch over to, like, one of those UHF channels and watch some American Gladiators. And then I think maybe there was, you could find some, like, wrestling. Because, like, my my dad's side of the family was that real, real kind of redneck white trash. So we, we'd be watching fucking, like, staying up late watching some WCW type shit, like, like, like some ghetto ass shit. Ghetto ass shit. But, yeah. I, but like these, these poor American gladiators, they didn't make any money off this shit. None of them, like some of them were doing better and doing all right, dude. But I'm sitting there, like enthralled and like they act like it's news that they were on steroids and shit. I'm like, yeah, come on, we all. I'm like, come oh, on, yeah, we all knew. We knew what, what Hulk Hogan's vitamins hey, fucking were. My friend, my dad didn't, wasn't built like that. My friend's dads weren't built like that. Just saying. So the hottest, like, they got a fucking. They got a direct line to the depths of fucking hell going to this coffee. It's hot as shit. Wish it was fucking 12 degrees outside and everything today, but you know. I wish it was a little bit cool there. It's one of those ozone fucking days in Texas. Ozone in Texas. What's up to Jimmy, Curly, and Jack? Nobody, nobody and wants our advice. They, they, must not, they must not trust our. No, nobody's chiming in for advice yet. Well, that's cool. I'm, we're, I'm great at other people's advice. <clears throat> I was glad I used to talk to my homegirl, and you know she was, she was in a relationship, and we were just friends. You know, I was married at the time. Right. It's the hottest fuck yeah. coffee ever, Kiki. Like, it's like it's hot as fuck. It's fresh. I know it is. I'm just messing with you. Thank you very much. No, I mean, please. You know, you know, you know. I thought he said he. I thought he said he eat it. No matter how you make it, I'll eat that shit. I don't give a fuck. I eat it. I was like, we well, had him a couple of onions. Is it like a new, an old thing like they come with? It comes with onions. It's, it's advertised. Oh, is it? I, I thought that was always a new thing. Like, I want my patty melt with onions like they did back in the day. No, it comes with onions. Oh, I, mean, I wanted to get, I was going to get a burger this time. Like a burger with like a fried egg on top. I completely forgot and just got my bacon and egg shit. Oh, wow. What? Future habit. And yeah, what's funny is, like, like uh, the day, like last Thursday, after uh, the day after this shit, 
I'm going to like eat eat something with my mom, and like we're sitting there making some shit, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I just had Mexican food, just had fried fish and shit. We ended up going to a bre- breakfast place, a place called Fresh Watch. They did actually brunch bullshit and stuff. Not one time did I say, oh, I just had eggs and bacon. I don't want eggs and bacon again. Like not one time did I did I say that like at all. Come through like, oh, I don't so, want to have bacon breakfast again. So what'd you get? Same shit I got here. Right, pretty much. It was eggs and bacon, pretty much. Like, yeah, pretty much. Like not at one time did I say, "Oh no, I, I can't have Mexican food two days in a row." But you can definitely have bacon and eggs too. I could eat that fucking two or three times a day. Yeah. I got bacon just all day. It's like the best thing ever, bro. Yeah, bacon and shit. I can eat bacon all the time. Dude, the best thing is that that fucking candy bacon, like the brown sugar bacon, man. That is my favorite. My grandma used to make that shit. Like, nothing's, like, more fatty than fucking bacon, like, swatted with some fucking sugar. But the last fucking chef job I had, one of the chefs, like, hit one of his signature things with that fucking bacon, that wrapped bacon. I was like, look, dude, if you could make two or three extra pieces of that shit every time you make it, I promise I will never steal any of your fucking bacon. But if you don't make two or three extra pieces for me, I can promise you I will steal that fucking bacon. Because that is, like, old school my favorite shit ever. I, I could sit there and eat that shit all day. Not enough to where I want to make that shit because it's a big pain. You got to make the bacon and then you got to like Grind caramelize it, some caramelize fucking brown it, sugar. No, it. no, you have to twist the bacon and then dip it in some brown sugar and then bake it. And then all that shit makes a huge smoky mess. It's, it's a whole big pain in the ass. Dude. Not some shit I ever want to do in my life. I'll eat it all day, but you know. That sounds crazy, bro. It's crazy fucking good, man. What's up, TJ? What's up, everybody else? It's like dipping some chips in some milk chocolate. Like, it's fucking awesome. But I would never want to do it as, like, a dish. Like, ugh. Yeah, you would. No, not really. Finally, Kiki, I've been waiting all day. You right here? You good. Okay. No, I just want my bacon. This one. All right, all right, all right. This one may be the laziest party I've ever. And then throw on your fucking. Throw on raw on you. Put it all on toast. Doesn't it come with like other shit? Like, I remember mean, you get like a whole big plate like before, right? Like, am I, am I nuts? I ordered eggs. Oh yeah, you ordered an all-star special if you should write me like the patty milk. Oh, so this is just like a... A bonus meal that they gave me. But is it really a bonus? It's not like it's free or some shit. Like we're not to end up paying for that shit. Like, oh, because we like you so much, we'll give you a free patty milk. Thank you so much, Kiki. We love you. Not like that, though. Do you love me? Like, who, who do you think? You still looking for something else? Hmm? Anything else coming your way? Or is it just like... Oh, yeah. Eggs. Wa- oh, the eggs and ass browns. Yeah, eggs and ass browns. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Crumble the bacon up and put it like. There's no fucking reason to be. I was about to say, dude, you didn't take out our, our usual pile of fucking napkins. Well, you know, she's kind of surprised you know, how quick she was tonight. Well, when you're only bringing out half a meal, bro, it's not that hard to be fucking quick with it, man. If you go to McDonald's and all you get is a fries, you need to get that shit pretty fucking quickly. I don't understand why the rest is taking so long though. Like, I don't get that. Does it make you suspect the rest of the thing? A little bit. Because I'm kind of sus over here, bro. I'm like. Let me 
then she didn't able to check on the rest of the rest from um, um, You know, I look forward to having these wobbling out. Dude, you're the most personal about dude when it comes to food. Like, you're so easy going. But then sometimes there's just a couple of people that do up the wrong way when it comes to food and they never like you. Like, that shit. Maybe I don't like them. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, like, there's just a couple of people, like, some people love you. Like, Miss Brenda. I feel like that, that woman would lay in front of a tray for you. But then the not Brenda woman, I forget her name, I call her Brenda. She just didn't like you from the jump. It's like just from the jump. It took it took us like three or four times and me calling her the wrong name for her not to like me finally. But like you from the jump, she's like, calm down, sir. And you got your bacon? Like he's just now scrambling my eggs. Why are you just kind of sucks, dude? Like, why are you getting your food all in shifts and shit? Like, I don't understand that. Those are sucks. Uh, may I have some, some grape jelly, please? Thank you, Kiki. We appreciate you. Is this the guy that worked that night with Tay? When Tay like, said, you, know, you can't expect your food all at once. Yep. But. Huh. Like eggs are burnt. Like, I don't understand. I'm like, all right, maybe. It's not just because we've both been paid to cook, right? Like, I mean, that can't be the only. Like, I feel like any, any Joe Schmo would be upset about this shit, right? Oh, well, I think so. Like, I feel like this guy's just upset that he's busy and that he has to work and he's not able to sit out there in his car and just. Hang out. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kiki. Huh? We said thank you, Kiki. Oh. Yeah, you can hear if you're Mexican. I'm Mexican. You're good. Somebody said quick. Somebody started fighting. Ha ha. Go ahead. So the other day, man, I'm sitting up, like, my brain. Yeah, uh, uh, you can, I mean, mine are going to go, so you can make it any time, I don't care. You too? Ah. See, how come we only get likes when somebody like you come on the screen? It's fucked up, Kiki. See, she's going to start a fight. Sorry, bro, but my food was actually pretty. I mean, my eggs were very fucking nice, and my, my food all came out all at once. I don't know what the fuck's up, dude. I mean, mine was like super scrambled hard. I got like a layer of shit. That night, I feel like all my food came out at the same time that night. I mean, look. Yeah. Might have to get 
super like pacific about it and be like some of my head soft scramble, you know, like kind of be a dick about it. Well, not a dick, but be like very specific about yeah, it. Yeah, they've been wanting to be like scramble, scramble light. Like we're over light instead of over medium. But really, the only other time I've ordered like over light eggs is when I was like in the hospital and they make your eggs down in the cafeteria and they put them up in that cart and so your shit is cooking the entire time. So I literally tell them like, dude, I want my eggs cooked as light as you are legally allowed to cook those motherfuckers. Because they're just going to cook the entire time they're in that fucking thing. So just over light as light as you can do it. And luckily they came up like over like over easy, like ready to go, like boom. But it took me like two or three times to like figure it out. Like, cause I, I get them like over medium or like the way I would do regular. And they came out hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like just cook them. What's up? Cali said, can I hear if I'm Mexican? That's the Cali kid I think it is. What's up, Cali? Is it A B conversation? You see your way out of No, I'm joking. I'm joking. You can do whatever you want to. Oh, you hear that, Callie? She said she don't think she can do that. Huh. Shout out to LeVar. He back in Cali. By the way, you finish before me last because you got your food mm-hmm. way ahead of me. And I only got like four items. <laughs> So that couple of the facts today, but I mean, you're still doing, I mean, you're still doing on, bro. I think Kiki's the type that gets, I mean, pretty much her way, I think. I mean, she might not be the prettiest chick, but she is, like, super, like, funny and smart. You know what I mean? Like, I bet you her girl just, like, bends over her, 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 her person, whatever they, their pronoun was, I'm just saying. Like, it's just so nice and sweet. Like, you'd want to be like, oh, sure, whatever you want, I got you. Dude, I think there's somebody just crazy enough for everybody. Well, I'm really hoping that you are not my fucking forever, bro. I hope you're not the crazy enough for me, dog. Nah, hope you're not either, but. I really enjoy a a pretty woman. All this, all this food's gonna come out at one time. Cause that's a likable guy. And you were dead. No, I'm good. It's fucking good. Dude, you finished it. I was also hungry as shit, bro. Like, literally, when you were, uh, when I hadn't talked to you. I was sitting there like, dude, what can I order from fucking Uber Eats right now? Because there ain't shit I want in that fucking kitchen, but I'm fucking hungry as shit. I want to eat. I'm, I'm glad I didn't let you down, dude. Well, it wasn't even about that. I was just thinking like, fuck, I didn't really eat today. I kind of ate. Like, maybe I had a peanut butter and jelly or some shit earlier. I had some, some, some non-existent stupid shit. <clears throat> right, what did I... What did you eat today? I think I had a peanut butter and jelly and then I think maybe a partial slurpee. I don't know. We went and did some shit. Oh, I had to take my stepdaughter to the bank. She tried to sign up online and they told her that she already had a negative balance. She ain't never had a bank card in her life. What? 
So did that, did that get worked out? Yeah, she, somebody, uh, it was just like, I think it was like a $50 balance. Like somebody had co-signed on the account for it, and it got, but it got shut down in the negative, just like $50 on the negative. And I was even like, if I pay you 50 bucks today, like, could she open up the account? She's like, well, you can talk to the data recovery and just make sure, you know, because if it was a co-signed account, like, you could have, any, any number of things could have happened, but, you know, like, her grandmother could have opened her account when she got born or some shit, and they used money at some point, and they just never put money back in or something, and then they close, and get you a late fee and close up the account, you're negative. Yep. That's a shitty way to start out your 18th birthday. And they were like, you never... You never had an account before, you know, like, dude, she literally, like, she just started her first job, just fucking turned 18, like, just graduated just like her, yeah, just graduated high school, this is like her first for real thing, like, it's messed up, bro. Okay. I love how my coffee was so hot, I barely got to drink any of it. But I guess nobody had a problem we could help them out with, but fuck y'all. I'm glad y'all are all doing good. Nobody, not even nobody. Maybe, else. maybe I got a problem that I need to talk about. Maybe. What's I, your problem? Man? I don't. I'll really, give you some I advice. don't have a fucking problem. I'm good. My kind of problem is can't get no fucking help help with. You know, that's the worst part about having a mess and like people are like, like literally like a couple, a couple people have like called you like. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pray for him. Like no amount of prayer is gonna help me at all. Like I'm not too bad. For, like I'm, I'm sorry, but like, it was, like some woman came up to me at the bank. She's like, oh, I'll pray for you. I was like, no, please, please don't. There's nothing. There's nothing that you no no amount of prayer is gonna help you. What you're what you're thinking that like well, I'm gonna say like pray because I'm fucking broke. Like that, that'd be a nice nice prayer to have. Don't don't pray pray for my health. It's gonna be fucked up. That's one way to look at it, bro. I don't know. I mean, I'm more of a person that uh, you gotta. Like, I almost look at it like, and some even my therapist said maybe it's a bad one, but I almost look at it like the Keenan before the disease, like Keenan you knew before 2017. That that's that's rest in peace. Like, I'm sorry we lost that Keenan. Like, he, he had a good time. He had a good life. But the Keenan that we have now is completely different Keenan. It's just it's like it's kind of the same, but. He's different. Like, it was just that that kid dead. That kid like came before. Like we do, we can leave off. But the kid before, we can leave off off right now and go fucking hard all night. Fucking, well, I could wake up passed out in the bathroom trying to find cocaine and shit, dude. Now, no, not a chance. No, we're done with that shit. No, no. Five years ago, yeah, we could go. I could go hard. Let, let, let's do it. Nothing else. Let's do it. I had Chris Farley on the fucking toilet if I got to. All right, so now let's talk about cartoons in the 90s because we're back on that waffling out shit. All right. I just wa- I mean, We're talking about the uh, the cartoon block, like the best cartoon. And I was kind of a nerd. Like, you, And you're a little bit older than me, so you might not have been watching. Dude, I'm like eight months older than you. Yeah, I know, but I'm also a big fucking nerd. You were in the sports and shit. I'm watching like Batman. The I, like, I had to get home to watch Batman and shit. On the WB. Okay. Yeah, well, no, it was on Fox Kids back then, bro. It wasn't the WB yet. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, the X-Men, like, I, I knew, like, the time block. I knew, like, oh, we got to we gotta, we gotta, we gotta see the rest. No, not really. Yeah. Like, I watched, no, yeah, no. I watched, like, the first, like, season, like, the first time Power Rangers came out. I was like, oh, shit, this is pretty cool. This is dope. And then by, like, the end of the first season, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm over this now. Yeah, I'm a I think I, I think I was like in the fifth grade then, and like I figured out girls and shit. I was like, yeah, the Pink Ranger was hot, but I'm kind of over. See, you did like her. Yeah, doesn't kind of fuck you up. Like, Yellow Ranger was hot, but then when she's in her thing, that's a dude. Like the Yellow Ranger, like when he's in all his getup, that's a that's a dude. So if you're thinking like, oh yeah, the Pink Pink Ranger and the Yellow Ranger are hot, but then you're kind of looking at a dude. Like, I mean, it's not a, not a technical big deal or anything, but it's still like kind of weird. Like you just like fucked it all over a lot of guys. I think a lot of I might have just fucked it up for you because a lot of guys already do that shit. Saying, dude. <laughs> a lot of dudes in the like from the nineties already knew that they like oh well they only had one girl like in the because it was all based on like Asian you know. 
like I don't love and I think we need to get like something we can just stick on the fucking window like that says like walk on out like to where it's always because I put something there during like right during the little thing I can put something there like but we can just post it up every time we put oh, I probably just fucked it up for a few. all right so anyway so, so, so what do you remember about Fox Kids I just gave you some of that but uh it was more superhero based X-Men Batman Spider-Man Iron Man Right. Fucking the Fantastic Four. That might have been more of like UPN or something. Like, I mean, I don't know. But again, like you said, but they also had like Bob, Bobby World. Was she remember Bobby World? Bobby World was cool. So if you, if you, there, I think Bobby, I like Priest Dewey. I with think, the head. yeah, I think Bobby's World you can find on like Disney Plus right now. It's a fucking trippy ass show when you watch it. Like, Bobby is a fucking out there kid. And. Like, I mean, there's, there's just the whole, the whole thing's fucking out there. The whole thing's fucking out there. But, uh, Nicktoons, too, I mean, and I'm only going to respect the first Nicktoons. I'm talking Doug, Rugrats, Ren and Stimpy. I'll consider Rocco's Modern Life because that was another fucking out there fucking show. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, that whole, like, that was the fucking shit, dude. Like, yep. they were. All was fucking great. I do remember, uh, yeah, you remember Casey? Yeah, you remember Casey? Yeah. Back in there? Yeah, we, we were uh, getting, my sister was dropping us off from uh, church one, one Wednesday night, and we just kept doing the, <laughs> just over and over again, just annoying the shit, and she's like, asking Casey where he lives, like, and she just won't stop fucking whistling the Doug tune, like, just so, like, if I was my sister, I would have pulled over and just smacked the shit out of both of us, but she was... She was a youth minister at the time, so you can't really, can't really smack the shit out of the kids that you were supposed to be helping. But I mean, look, and I mean, you know, they got a, you know, Doug ended up going to Disney and they just ruined that fucking show. Like, fucking, the, the Disney version of Doug was just complete trash. I guess but I mean, right. Rugrats is still going, to, and he, you know why they canceled Rugrats? Because they got a new, uh, they did the all grown up. What's up? I don't think so. No. No. Oh, can I get some syrup though? Thank you. All right, cool. Not a problem. Thanks. Uh, no, not yet, but yeah, I will. Yeah, let me go and get one. I don't want to, yeah, let me forget shit. But, uh,. Rock's Modern Life was actually really fucking good. Like, I haven't watched that in a really long time. But... Here, and if you want to check your Pokemon Walker, make sure it's cooked on both sides. Do that. No, I, I trust you. Okay, like as it. long as it's not looking like me, we're good. As no, it's as... cooked on both sides. I made sure. I made sure. Just say not that. Oh, Kiki. Bye. Technical difficulties. Can I hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Mike, Mike, check. Week. Mike, check. Somebody last week said, why are you so loud? I literally watched. I I wanted to date all those girls, and I wanted to be those dudes. That dude, JC Chazé, I wanted to be that dude so bad in my life. Seeing him like that's the coolest guy ever. I couldn't figure out how come Justin Timberlake was number one on the fucking in sync. I was like, how come JC isn't the? That's my dude. Like if I could say the N word, that's my N word. Like damn, I wanted to be that dude back in the day. He was he was like. In You're the my Mickey, boy Blue. Yeah, he was dating like that Carrie chick. Like they, they did a whole like soap opera on the Mickey Mouse club thing. I mean, 
shit full of shit. He's dating that scary chick with the furry, curly hair. Like, whatever, whatever. But Goof Troop, Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, DuckTales, Darkwing Duck afterwards. And then one of my all-time favorites, it was more the Saturday morning cartoon variety, but the TV show Reset. Do you remember that show, Reset? That was a good one. That Mikey kid, that's my spirit animal. Like, sweet, soft-hearted. Thank you so much, dude. Hey, let me ask you, do, do like the, the people you date, do they just like, like, I just imagine that they just want to like fall over backwards doing everything for you. Like, okay, it's okay, Kiki. Like, you're just so nice and sweet. They're just like, yeah, you can get away with murder. Just whatever you want to. No. Like, I can imagine like you could bring me some fucked up food. Like, it's okay. It's just Kiki. Let's just let it go. It's not a big deal. Let's just let no. it go. It's just Kiki. It's just, it's just Kiki. Let's just let it go. Yeah? Did I on you, bro? Well, that's, I I don't know. If, he might not be mad enough to say it, but that's how I feel about you. I, yeah, that's how I feel about. I feel like yeah. I feel like I would let you just get away. With it. It's just Kiki. That's just good. That's just good. Like if you bought, brought me coffee completely wrong or some shit, but like, it's just, okay. I'm just gonna drink coffee. Oh, well, speaking coffee. of the coffee, can I have a large black coffee to go, please? Okay. Thank you, Kiki. But yeah, because Recess came out a little bit after us. Like, I mean, I, I, can, I think I was like the seventh grade shit. I, I watched that shit religiously because that Mikey kid. That Mikey kid, that TJ dude. Like, I'm, I'm one of those kids to be my homies. But I, I didn't have a, I didn't have a, best I could do would be, be fucking Mikey. Just be the sweet, lovable fat kid. But Mikey never, like, no, no chicks never dug on Mikey, though. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kiki. Do your sons, like, say shit over and over again, like, like cool shit, like, be, like, then, I don't know. Like, right, now, right now, like, their phrase is, or lately has been, the Riz. Uh, yeah, my sons say that. Though. They say, uh, imagine... Or uh, they like he was one of them was playing basketball with my with my other son. They kept saying ankles over and over again. And kept saying, "Oh, uh, light work." Like I guess that's what you say when it's not that tough to beat somebody or do something. So they kept saying like over and over again. He said light work like nine times. Like you know, it doesn't make it any like you know you're talking to like a four year old bro. Like it doesn't make you any cooler to use the same fucking word no, over, yeah, and over, goal, and over and over again. Like, it's just so fucking annoying. I mean, I know it's so, like your son, like when the Will Smith shit happened, he kept saying that over and over again. And I was just like, yeah, dude, I can tell that you say that. Like, because you just, cause, like, it, and, but your son's younger than my son. So I could see your son saying stuff over and over again, trying, because he's trying to find his way. He's trying to figure out his way into becoming, like, because he hasn't really hit puberty or anything yet. Like, how old is he? Like, he's 10. Yeah, okay. So my son's like 16. So, so your son gets a 10 year old pass. My son's like, yo, dude. Imagine me knocking the fuck out of you. Imagine me, like, fucking little twerp. Like, I keep trying, like, I keep trying to prepare them, like, for the world. Well, not even for the real world. Like, I just want them to be, because I know they're going to go to jail one time. Not for, like, anything major, I don't think, but they're going to get in trouble for something at some point. And they're going to get their first 24-hour stint in jail. And it's going to be a whole different world to them. They're not going to know... What the fuck is going on? And I don't know, dude, like, because jail, like, is the most racist place possible. And I just don't imagine my son's walking in to a place, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to walk in thinking they're all cool, and, like, all the cool ass black dudes are going to be like, get your little white ass away from me. I don't know you, dude. Like, who the fuck are you? Get, like, dude, they're, they're walking around, like, they're putting their, their rock and bonnet caps and shit in my house. I'm like, dude, you know, like, I know y'all are half black, but you do not have the hair for that bonnet cap, dude. And now my little son is wearing, I'm like, you definitely don't have the hair for that bonnet cap, bro. Like, you don't be, like, you definitely can't rock it. But they be wearing it, like, and again, I don't know a whole lot about black hair, but from what I understand is the bonnet cap is for either right before you get your hair done, like, when it's, when it's bad and you, like, don't want people to see it. And like you're just okay, I'm not gonna. Or at, right after it gets done, you don't want to sleep and get it fucked up. They got two little pros, and they're rocking a body cap. <laughs> it's like, 
Look, I don't know much, dog, but I just don't think that y'all are using the cap the right right way. I don't know. I would take him to the barber and just hold him down in the chair and be like, bro, just pay the up. And the worst part is, give like, one the north side fade and give the other one the south side fade. The worst part is they're Call twins. one north, one south. Exactly. They're twin, but no, well, they're twins, and one of them has like a regular forehead going, and one of them's got that five head. And you can tell he's gonna have that receding hairline. I'm trying, like, I keep telling him, like, yo, dog, you gotta get used to shaving your head, bro. And what you talking about, man? I was like, dude, I can, I was like, you're 16, dog. I can tell, like, y'all you're are bad, twins. Dude. Y'all are twins, like. So you you're might as well, it's not wrong. Like you just like own that shit, dude. Like don't try. Like I remember being 21 years old and like getting ready for work, and it take me like 20 minutes to get my spiky hair going. It should not take you 20 minutes to get your spiky hair going for your hairline. Okay, just shave your head, get the fuck off right there. And on that note, you do say that every time. Like I'm like the last three episodes. And then on that note, we're going the fuck home. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us on Waffle Out. Thanks for asking.